Looks like he's ready to take a charge. Oh. Trying to cut that Go corner. Speed. Go. Ha. Ah. Clipped the trees, but fairly clean going through. He's in that with the competitors and their caddies today. Well, John is asking for an official. Fully honest, I, I wouldn't say I moved it, but I can't. Well, here we go. This could be a penalty. Hey, hi there. Uh, so, hey. nobody was marking where the ball was. I didn't know what I was going by asking. I definitely felt I touched it with the top of my foot. Like you can tell. Where's the ball right now? Right there. Like you can tell I went like oh, that. Wow. Okay. I, I, I know I touched it. I don't believe I moved it at all, to be honest. Okay. It was like right on the top. If you definitely felt you touched it, then there would be a penalty for that. I mean, there's nobody telling me where the ball is. Yeah, I must have been hard to see, isn't it? But if you, if you touch it with your foot, then the penalty's going to go again. Even if I, I know I didn't move it? Yeah. Well, that, you got to take penalty. Yeah, don't worry. If you're, you take penalty. if you're telling me you, you yeah. felt it on your foot, we have to... All right, thanks, Chris. Okay, what, what we've got to do is actually replace it to where it was before. I can't tell you where it was. So in, in, which, case, same spot. in which case we're going to drop it. Okay. okay? I didn't see it. I, could, I mean, how you exactly. see that? We've got to put it back, but because you don't know where it was before. I, I have no idea, now. That's fine, in which case we'll drop it. Can I clean it? Uh, no. No, sir. Okay. It goes forward, I replace it. That's right. right, yeah. So this is going to be a penalty, Brian. You heard it. Clear as day. Yeah, Awful break for John Rahm, who did not know where his ball was. But if he or his caddy had touched that ball, it's a penalty. Back up a little bit. Thanks. Just a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. All right. Appreciate it. Well, he said he was working to manage his emotions. He'll have to put that to the test right here. I'm not hit it more than a pitch, and I want to hit it closer. I'm thinking, I, mean, I don't know why you can hit like a six or seven after you get to the first game. I think mean, you can hit an eight iron. How far are we? You can do a 240 front and 8 iron if you want to play. I think you should, you know, 8 iron can go 150 on that line. Oh, that's it's hold out. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a, a 7 or 8 iron if you get 7 and you hit it left of the tower, just on the TV tower, just left of it. It's going to be a nice number for wedge. It's going to get you past this down slope. It's going to go about you know, 65, something like that. I left the left edge of that bunker over there. So like the, the edge of the bunker left of the TV tower. Correct. There you go, pal. Perfect. Great work by our crew getting in there, listening to all of that unfold for John Rahm. Playing backwards from the green now to get him a favorable yardage for his fourth. This is his third now, remember, with the penalty. John. Well, all things considered, good job there by John Rahm keeping it together. His argument, Brian, was I didn't see it. No one was here to mark it. I stepped on it or I bumped it on accident. Unfortunately, that does not allow for any kind of variance in the rules. If you touched it, it's a penalty. It was clear cut. Also going a little bit left, although he's got it. Uh, he did start it on the right edge. Good read. Wow, that's a big one and a 